first of all, I think Ohio State's going to win the national championship. And I don't think just win the national championship. I think this Ohio State team has a chance to be one of the better teams in the playoff era. If you look at this roster, what I am most interested about on defense is that, and Michigan did this to an extent last year, actually, funny enough. I think we are in right now because of all the portal extra years and, and, and yada, yada, yada. I think we are in the time where old teams have a decided advantage uh, over younger ones, more so than you might think as all these COVID years finally, finally rinse out. It's sort of the college basketball thing, right? Where if you have an old team with good guards, you like can win the national championship. Hi, you can't even yeah, the seven foot or whatever. Um, but I think Ohio State has that on defense. This is an old ass defense, man. They are all, they're all redshirt juniors, grad transfer seniors, been there a long time. They were, it was perfectly fine last year. And then, oh, by the way, they added one of probably the best defensive player in college football last year. Uh, and one yeah. of the best players, irrespective of position in college football at Caleb and Downs at safety. He's like the only underclassman who's going to play right. on that defense. Right. And he's probably yeah. the best player on the team. Yeah. Also, did you realize that JT is back again? You're right. Like he yes, wasn't. Yes. Yes. T- I, I don't think that that registered for me. No, but J- but that's the thing. Like, well, it, it's- but why why is he still in college football? Well, What's happening there? Because he's a little stiff and can't really bend around the okay. edge for NFL okay. purposes. But okay. I'll take him on this team. Like, and and then this is a roster. I don't want to say without any holes because the offensive line. I am my jury is a touch out on the offensive line. I I, I can be fair about that. Uh, but it, it's just like. Where the holes at? If Jeremiah Smith is what he is billed to be as a wide receiver one, which is uh, he's a freshman that they got from South Florida, and they're saying he looks a lot like number 18 that now plays for the Arizona Cardinals. So you've got him, Carnell Tate, who a lot of people said was a really good uh, prospect, and then Emmett Ekbuka as your slot guy coming back again, again, old. Emmett Ekbuka is a redshirt junior. Like it, it, this is a yeah. really, really loaded football team. I am fascinated to see what offensive coordinator Chip Kelly, remember that offensive coordinator Chip Kelly, what he can do in the run game. Because remember, they got Travion Henderson and Quinchon Judson to the, the running back yeah. room was so yeah. stacked that Dallin Hayden, who's a good player, had to leave. I think he's a Colorado if I'm, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, I believe that's correct. Uh, so look, all all good. Can I pitch you on a potential source of chaos with this team? Please, just one, because because you got to look for them, and that's what we're going to do with these good teams. Well, especially uh, this remember- one, especially this one. You got to find this is a this is a yeah. find the hole situation. Yeah, uh, you and I were both at the Rose Bowl together last year. We had a lovely day, one of the better days in the history of our friendship. Remember the Alabama center who couldn't snap the ball to Jalen <laughs> Milrow without yes. putting it in his feet? Yes, I do. He's Ohio State. You know where he is. You know he's what he's a, doing. He, yep, that's right. Seth McLaughlin is Ohio State, <laughs> which yes, yeah. that's the the if there is a question mark on this team, it is offensive line beyond a shadow of a doubt. Uh, I am I am willing to hitch the wagon to say that they can get the run game going well enough to take a lot of pressure off pass blocking situations and Will Howard. Uh, Will Howard transferring from Kansas State is a good quarterback. I do not love him when he is pressured, though. Have not loved him when he is pressured. Okay, Tom Brady sucks when he gets pressured up the middle. It happens. So, yes, that is one thing Ohio State is going to have to figure out. It is the question mark around this team, I think, to be fair. But everywhere else, there isn't a hole. There, there is depth of plenty. It's old. It's tenured. It's long in the tooth. Um, I, I am, you know, it, it's a lukewarm take. But, yeah, man, I'm hitching the wagon to Ohio State over Georgia, over Oregon, or, over Texas. Like, that's that's the one this year. And I think they, they like, it's not just yeah. good playoff contender it's i think potentially the best playoff t- uh, team of the playoff era when all is said and done i don't know if we're going to get 2019 lsu adjacent because i don't know if they're going to do that much firepower on offense but when you look at complete teams and you stack up 2019 lsu you stack up that georgia team a few years ago that was a complete team with a stalwart defense i think this is a complete and balanced football team that's pl- that's going to play at a really high level i'm i'm with you I think it's a reasonable take to plant the Ohio State National Championship flag. And I like that you're doing it because, frankly, if you don't, 
like Ryan Day, man, like it's out. It's going to be out of our hands at that point <laughs> if they are if they are underwhelming this year. There will be nothing left to say if they do not deliver with the kind of players that they have on this team this year. 